created a wind turbine and what we did with this wind turbine is we wanted it to basically be fully automated where you could just deploy it and it would fully function. It would always face into the wind and if it ever had too high of a wind speed it would shut down and it would tell you how much voltage it's generating while the props are spinning. When it first turns on, it reads initializing and it centers. Once your props get up to speed, um, there's a voltage signal that goes to the Arduino and it reads out on the display. Normally in a good wind speed condition we can generate about 6 to 9 volts. Um, with this little fan you can't get it that much. Um, but, uh, and then that actually feeds directly into a rechargeable battery pack and then the battery pack is also which is running the uh, PIC software um, and all the main circuitry. The way the uh, actual tail works is the wind will blow the tail into a certain direction. As you can see, once it hits a certain direction, it will rotate until that goes back to zero to face into the wind. So if it's over here, it will rotate until it hits that wind direction, which is zero. And while the prop is spinning, you can see on the LCD screen, it will actually show right now it's going from zero. Looks like we hit maybe one volt with that spin. About 1.2 is the highest on that one. Uh, we have an anemometer uh, that will spin with the wind speed. Um, it uh, triggers a photo uh, transistor. The PIC software. It reads the RPMs on the wind speed, and then I have a given set uh, value of when you have dangerous high winds, and that's when it uh, signals the alarm, and then also signals the Arduino to uh, cut the pitch, which essentially stops all your rotor function. Yep. For manual operation, we've got five different buttons, um, four for control and one for reset. So we can move it to the right, left, so increase pitch, and decrease pitch. And then when you hit reset, it goes back to home in all directions. So right now, it looks like we're generating about 8 volt, or 0.8 volts. And the anemometer is spinning, so if I were to move this way, the tail is going to move, and it's going to point back into the wind. And if I move this way, the tail is going to pick that up and it will move into the wind as well. If I can get the tail to realize that it stopped. Okay. And if I were to increase the wind beyond safety and go right at the anemometer, I'll get the anemometer spinning. So it's so said high wind on the LCD. Sound went off, and now the pitch is zero. And even with the high wind on this, we can't get any spin out of the props because they're zero. From the tower all the way up to the top of the cell is completely 3D printed. Internally, we also did some extruded features that held the servo, held the uh, gears, and held the motor that did the generating as well. All right, so there's the transmission here, um, just a massive gear on a very small gear on the motor, just to get really high RPMs for a small DC motor. A servo that controls your pitch, um, and then another servo that controls the yaw, and then just the connections in between. Yep. You also have and the then, pot and the uh, photo interrupter right there. Okay, so internally, uh, we've got two brains behind this. We've got the Arduino board, which powers the servos and the LCD, and communicates to the LCD through serial communication. Then we also have the PIC, which is what checks the RPM of the anemometer continuously and will send a high to the Arduino, which then signals the LCD, <laughs> and also the PIC will then send the sound to the speaker when it gets too high of winds.